By the end of this video, you should be able to explain what a pure substance is and give an example, explain what a mixture is and give an example, and explain what an element is. Imagine you've just come home after a hard day of school and you decide you want a snack. Maybe you reach into the cabinet and pull out some trail mix, or you make yourself a bowl of your favorite cereal, or maybe you reach for a bowl of fruit salad or even a plate of mixed vegetables. You then reach for a nice cold glass of water. Now, all of these things have something in common. They're all matter. That means they all have mass and they take up space. But you will notice that the water is very different from the snack foods. That's because the water is what we call a pure substance, and the snack foods we just mentioned are mixtures. As we discussed in a previous video, matter is a physical substance that has mass and takes up space. Matter can be classified into two categories, pure substances and mixtures. A mixture is a material made up of two or more different substances that are physically combined. The composition of a mixture can vary depending on how much of each substance has been mixed into it. The word composition means how something is put together from its parts. For example, coffee is a mixture of water and ground up coffee bean. If you add more coffee bean or less water, the coffee will be stronger. If you add less coffee bean or more water, the coffee will be weaker. Although all of these coffees are made of coffee beans and water, the composition is a little different for each cup because each cup has a different proportion of coffee bean and water. Sometimes it's easy to tell that something is a mixture just by looking at it. For example, if you take a look at our snack foods, we can actually see the different substances that are in it, the different pieces of fruit or vegetable or crunchy thing. But sometimes you need microscopes or other special equipment to tell if something is a mixture especially if the mixture consists of very tiny particles. For example, milk does not look like a mixture. But if you look at it under a microscope, you will see that it's a mixture of fat globules and other things that are floating around in a liquid. Mixtures can be separated into their parts, although sometimes you need special equipment to do this. A pure substance is matter that is made up of only one type of particle. There are two types of pure substances, elements and compounds, and we will talk about compounds in a future lesson. Water is an example of a pure substance. It's a compound, and it's made up of very tiny particles called molecules. All of these particles are identical. There's nothing else mixed in. But as we'll see in a future lesson, these particles in compounds can be broken up into smaller particles using chemical reactions. We will be looking at what compounds are in a future lesson. In this lesson, we are going to focus on elements. Elements are the most basic pure substance, and all matter consists of one or more elements. All the particles in a sample of an element are identical, but unlike water and other compounds, you can't break the particles in elements into something smaller without changing the identity of the substance entirely. There are currently 92 elements found in nature, although additional elements have been formed in labs. Examples of elements you may have heard of are oxygen, helium, carbon, copper, gold, and uranium. Yes, this is a disk of uranium, like the kind they use in nuclear reactors. Some elements are very common, 
and some elements are very rare. Each element has a unique set of properties that is different from the set of properties of any other element. For example, the element iron is attracted by a magnet. The element neon, which is a gas, glows red when electricity flows through it. The element gallium is a solid at room temperature, but will melt in your hand. The properties of an element will be the same regardless of how much of that element you have. For example, it does not matter if my sample of gallium is as small as the head of a pin or as large as my hand. It will still melt at 85.58 degrees Fahrenheit because that is the melting point of gallium. Likewise, neon gas will glow red regardless of whether you have a tiny neon light or a very big neon light. In summary, matter can be classified into two categories, pure substances and mixtures. Mixtures are made of two or more substances that are physically combined, but pure substances are made of only one type of particle. There are two types of pure substances, elements and compounds. Elements are the most basic pure substance. They cannot be broken down without changing the identity of the substance. And all elements have physical properties that can help you identify an element and distinguish one element from another element.